YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on zero RB strategy. Why you should be using zero RB strategy when it's optimal. Now, listen, I'm not telling you to use zero RB strategy every time you draft. But I am telling you to use it when the right players are available. So, to, so today, guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. And also, guys, if you want to support the channel, sign up for the membership tiers and you get a lot of perks. You can play against me in listener leagues. And I'm doing free listener leagues for membership players right now, guys. And I'm giving out free prizes. And also, I have entry fees for some of these high stake leagues that I do provide. So, guys, with no further ado, let's begin. So, guys, what I'm going to break down for you today is the running backs and wide receivers, the top 12 guys. And I'm going to show you the reason why I like doing zero RB strategy over robust RB, but I will do robust RB when it's optimal, right? It just depends on what's going on. All right, so let's get the whole screen for you. So, guys, let's start right here with Austin Eckler. I'm going to do Austin Eckler, and then I'm going to do Justin Jefferson. So, Austin Eckler, guys, had total points of 372. He didn't miss any games last year. Okay, that's good, right? A lot of people drafted him first overall or maybe two or three. But to me, if you go over here to Justin Jefferson, and he only he scored 368, but he has no injury history. You see the difference? Like, if you draft Austin Eckler, ain't you worried about injuries? He, haven't he missed three or four games in a season before? Isn't he been, haven't you been worried about, is he going to start a certain week? But Justin Jefferson have never had, had that. And his, he only scored, what, four more points than Justin Jefferson? So I'd rather have Justin Jefferson. Let's go to CMC. CMC scored 356, and this is PPR, 356. But then you got Tyreek Hill over here with 341. But Tyreek Hill has really no injury history, maybe a couple games that he missed. CMC has missed two years where he missed over 10 games. So I'd rather take Tyreek Hill. The points is not big enough to take that risk in the first round. Again, look at Josh Jacobs, which that was a great pick. That's a zero RB bill. If I could have went Justin Jefferson, then Tyreek Hill, and then went Josh Jacobs, that would have been a league-winning formula. So you can do that. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying I'm going to find a Josh Jacobs every single time, but I believe that there are Josh Jacobs or guys that can finish in the top five or top 10, even top 12 every year outside of the top three rounds. That's what I'm looking to do when I do zero RB. Right. I'm not going to take one of these wide receivers like Tyler Lockett and Terry McLaurin over guys like a Tony Pollard or Ramondre Stevenson or Nick Chubb. I'm not going to do that, but I'm not drafting none of them, no running backs over Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs, CeeDee Lamb. No, no running backs are going over these guys. You know, it just depends on what round I'm in. If I could go and get one of these big time guys first and come back around and get a Saquon Barkley or maybe a Derrick Henry, that's different. That's different, right? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm willing to take that opportunity cost where they could go down with an injury when I already got my stud raw receiver that has no really no injury history. So that's what it's about, guys. Let's go do some of these points through here and look at the injuries. Let's look at the running backs. So out of the top five running backs, how many guys missed games? You got a game missed right here by Derrick Henry, and you got a game missed right here by Saquon Barkley. Now, Saquon could have been out that game just because. They wanted to keep him healthy for the playoffs, but again, he still missed it, right? If he was healthy, he would have played because most like CMC played his last game, right? So you got to worry about injuries. So you got CMC, I mean, you got Derrick Henry and you got Saquon Barkley that was out. Look at the top five wide receivers. Nobody missed the game. Nobody missed the game. Actually, guys, if you count the top 12 guys, you got Amara and you got Jamar Chase. Those are only guys that missed. Only two wide receivers missed games last year. When you go over here to the running backs, you got Derrick Henry that missed the game. You got Nick Chubb that missed the game. You got Tony Pollard. You got Joe Mixon. And you got Dalvin Cook. And you got Leonard Fournette. That's a lot of running backs compared to wide receivers. That's why zero RB is optimal, right? And if you go zero RB, if I could go Justin Jefferson and then I get Stephon Diggs, and then I can get Tony Pollard in the third round. Like, that's a great hero RB. Or even if I could go, let's say, Justin Jefferson, Stephon Diggs, and then Jalen Waddle, 
and then I can come back around and get an Aaron Jones or Joe Mixon, a Dalvin Cook, a Leonard Fournette. I'm okay with that, with those guys missing games because I had I didn't waste a pick on them in the first three rounds. Anything outside the top three rounds, guys, if they go down, it's not going to kill your team. You need your, your top three picks to be healthy and booming for you, giving you them boom points. And look at the total points. You may say, well, running – a lot of people say, well, running backs don't score uh, – what about – Running backs score more than wide receivers. Not really. Well, you, you got Tyreek Hill with 341. You got Christian Caffrey with 356. Then you got Devontae Adams outscoring Josh Jacobs. You got uh, Stefan Diggs outscoring Derrick Henry. This is PPR. And then standard is different because it's the format. Saquon Barkley with 284. You got CD Lamb with 301. Right? So wide receivers in PPR are outscoring – uh, the running backs again, guys. Wide receivers have replaced the running backs. The running, the new running backs are the quarterbacks now. The new running backs are the quarterbacks. Running backs are like wide receivers back in the day in old school standard of uh, fantasy football leagues. So let me go in here, guys. All right. So, guys, I believe that zero RB is a good strategy to help you with injuries. That's why I'm doing zero RB. I'm not saying it's the best strategy to use every single time, but it helps protect you, right? So don't reason why I'm not taking CMC is not that he suck, is that he has an injury history. And if I go with, I rather go with Justin Jefferson. If Justin Jefferson get hurt, then that's a new type of injury. And then I can move him down next year. And I'm okay with that. But if I go and draft CMC and he goes down, that's on you. You've seen he's been down before. Austin Eckler, he's been down before. Derrick Henry got a lot of mileage. Receivers don't get a lot of mileage until they get like 31. There's no necessary, it's no really no, no stat that says, ah, he's been he had a lot of catches. No, you don't say that. But what you say is he 31, 32. So Devonta Adams is not an optimal top five wide receiver to me this year because he's older. But guys like Amara, Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, those guys are still in their prime, and I'm drafting these guys over the top three or four running backs. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting-edge content. And also, guys, sign up for the membership tiers. If you want to support the channel and you want to be able to get perks, free memorabilia, I will be sending those things out, and I will be bringing people up on here that wins rings, guys, and you can come up here and chop it up and tell people what was your strategy, why you drafted some of the games that you play, guys, it's going to be a lot of great perks. So you want to make sure you want to be involved. Y'all be safe. Peace.